WR100-7 by Boyle Custom Moto. Kim Boyle has lived a life on two wheels. He started out in BMX, working for GT Bicycles, Airwalk, Vans and DC Shoes and then got hooked on motorcycles. Over the past six years he's made a name for himself with a series of super clean builds, ranging from an SR500 wheelie machine to vintage Harleys and a Norton Cafe racer. Kim's latest creation is the sweet 1978 BMW R100-7, which was one of the stars of the recent hand-built motorcycle show in Texas. Despite being a zero-to-no-budget project, it's a stunning result. It sounds like Kim is a pretty straight-up kinda guy, and he admits that a classic BMW would not be his first choice of donor vehicle. I'm not a big fan of the size or shape of the airhead motor, he says. But a ton of people love these bikes, including a good friend of mine. So Kim got to work, and got the result. It turned out to be exactly what my friend envisioned, and that's the best thing I could ask for. Kim started by shaving, polishing and lowering the forks by four and a half inches. Then he rebuilt both wheels, adding black powder coat to the stock rims. He swapped out the original tank for a sleeker R90 item with a flip-flip gas cap, painted by Sean Long at Imperial House. The shocks sat too vertical for my taste, so I moved the top mounts forward a bit and went with half-inch taller progressive suspension shocks to get the stance I wanted. To keep within the budget, Kim welded up a two, into, one exhaust using no less than 32 pieces of pipe, with a chunk of heat shield from a sportster to protect the short muffler. Chrome is expensive, so Kim resorted to black ceramic coating. The shape of the mock, 